Hi, I'm Tony Apple, and I would like to show you how you can create an iOS application using NetBeans and Java. This is a new feature of Apache NetBeans IDE version 9, which has recently been released. So, if you want to create this application, go to New Project, choose Java in the categories and Java Frontend Application and proceed with the wizard. In the next step, you can select a name. I'll use iOS demo. And this is a Maven project, so you can also define the artifact ID or the group ID and a base package. I'll go with the default. So on the next wizard page, you can decide what platforms you want to deploy to. That can be Android, iOS, you can also run it in a browser or even as a NetBeans plugin. And by default, there will always be a version that runs as a desktop client. So I'm on a Mac, so I can create an iOS application. And here you have the choice between two different implementations that allow you to deploy to iOS. I will use the RoboVM. Um, by Mobi Develop. So in the next step, you can select a template to start with. And there are three templates to choose from, a very basic one that shows you some of the features, um, a CRUD application that also has a server and shows you how you can share code between the client and the server. And this little client application that shows some of the APIs that are available and uh, that you can use in your application. So I'll go with that one. So if I hit next, I'll get a summary of what will get created here and from what archetype. And if I go to finish, the project will automatically be created and um, an initial run will be started, an initial build will be started. So while this application is building, you can see the progress down here. Let's have a look at what has been created from the Maven archetype. This is the parent project. The parent project contains a parent POM and a couple of modules. In our case, it's three modules, so the three modules down here. So. This one, the iOS demo general client code, is the project that has all the source code. We won't go into detail on that one. And this project can be used if you want to integrate your own JavaScript libraries uh, that should be used in the front end, but we also want to have a look at that. What is interesting to us is the RoboVM project and that is the project that is going to be used for deploying deploying to um, iOS. So I can right click this project, go to Run Maven and choose where I want to run it. I can either run it on an actual device or in a simulator. I'll use the simulator because you cannot see my device otherwise. So I hit run in iPad simulator and this will take a while, especially when you launch it for the first time. So I will skip a couple of seconds uh, to get right to the iPad simulator. And now the simulator has started and our application is automatically launched. So the application starts with a white screen and a couple of buttons up here and you can use these buttons to show some demos like for example display a line chart with a nice animation using our charts API or pie chart or a map an actual map of where I'm sitting right now the deep script brand got invented here that's right and if you want to learn more about the source code and how you develop the business logic for this kind of applications, go to the DukeScript website which is linked at the end of this video. So 
have fun coding with Apache NetBeans and trying all the nice new features, including this one. Goodbye.